Hi guys, let's make the Shihu office chair model M76. So right here, we're just taking a look at all the items that came in the box. We also got a booklet for those of us who like to read instruction. We got the gloves because things can get really dirty. So let's get into opening our boxes. Thank you, I deserve that. Now let's take a look at all the items that came. I'm not gonna list them, we'll just take a closer look at the items when we're putting them together. Gloves on, let's go. So we're gonna start with the toolkit that came. We're gonna, these are also the legs for the chair and that is the chair leg connection. So we're just gonna start with these three items and put it together. It's pretty, pretty simple. So let's dive right into it now these are my tools that i've opened it took me a little while it's a little bit tedious but we got through it so we got a total of five legs right there and um you will see how easy it is to put these legs with the connection that it came with it's uh it's not a difficult process but it does take time so yeah i'll show you how it's done so these are the screw there's these screw that we're going to be using are the m635 yes it comes with four plus one pieces and these are the taller of the sets of four screws that comes in the box so you can't miss it these are the taller of the four sets screw that comes in the box we're just lining up our chair legs just to show you give you an idea of what it's gonna look like and here we go uh, all you gotta do is to pop these baby in and you might need to fasten them a little bit just so you can screw it properly or else the screw won't work it won't go all the way so just fasten them and yeah let's put the screws in yeah once they're fastened the screw actually goes pretty simple you just put them put them with your hands first and then you can use the screwdriver that came with the package in the tool kit and screw them it's pretty easy. There you go. That's your screwdriver. Came with your uh, came with your package. It's pretty pretty easy. You really don't need to go get any. You don't need to get any additional uh, tools from outside. You can simply use what you what you got in the box might need a little bit of strength though that's looking pretty easy to me and there you have it we've managed to connect the legs with the connector and it looks it looks simple it looks nice so we're going to move into the other part of this and we're going to just going to attach the wheels you don't have to attach the wheels now but you know for the sake of this video we're just going to go ahead and attach the wheels and to put the wheels in it's pretty easy all you got to do is just to press them in you don't need a screw you don't need to uh, turn them to fasten you just gotta put them in press down <laughs> and there you go there you have it pretty pretty easy and the wheels turn perfectly no issues 
put them in fasten and that's it turns pretty well there we go we've got one part done and now we're gonna go in with the connector it's called the gas lift piece and this is what we're gonna use to connect the chair with the stool section of it so you got to make sure you put this in correctly there is nothing in the bottom that needs to turn over that's just going to help us later on to connect another part so yeah you just put it in like that and that's all you need to do make sure you turn it that exact way and we have the mechanism now because um yeah as you can see from the handle this is what you're going to use to get the chair up and the chair down and we need to connect this part to the seat and this is the cushion part that comes in the package so you got to make sure that you connect it properly so where i'm pointing at the two holes you want to make sure that those two holes are actually fixed properly and the chair has four holes for the screws as well and there's a little tag you can see that white dash at the chair that's just a little tag that tag that is saying uh, to go forward and these are the screws that you're going to use with the mechanism and you're going to use the four piece m635 so these are all these are the other set of uh, m6 screws that comes it comes in five pieces total but you're only going to use four it's just an extra one just in case you lose one so yeah, and these are the shorter screw of the two sets of m6 screws that comes in the package back with our screwdriver and we're just going to screw that bad boy, bad boy in So you really got to look at before you screw the mechanism onto the seat of the chair that you turn it properly so that the lever that you use to put the chair up and down is situated in the right direction there is also a small uh, arrow on the front of the mechanism or once you put it like that you can actually see it right close to where the tag is that we're looking at um, there's a there's a an arrow that is embedded on the mechanism that shows you exactly how it's supposed to be turned so you really can't make any mistake with that unless you're not looking and screwing this on is pretty easy pretty simple no strain That's it, all done. So as you can see, uh, there's a hole right there and that's where you're gonna put over, you're gonna put that over the gas lift. That is, yes, just like that. You're gonna put that over because that's where it's situated. And that's really how it goes. Now we're gonna move on to the back of the chair. And thank God we didn't have to make this part up. It actually comes like this. so right where that white section is is where you're gonna attach to the seating of the chair that's the cushion of the chair and this part was a little bit hard it was a little bit difficult to do but what you're gonna do you gotta get it done so for this we're actually gonna use some of the uh, I think these are the M M533 screws yeah these are the m533 screws and these come about yeah these are six pieces of screws that comes in the package so we're going to use i think it's five of those we're going to use i don't think it's all six but we'll see so of course we can screw it like this i'm just showing you what the chair is going to look like after we're done well almost done so we're going to remove 
the seating remember it's not screwed down we can easily take it off and there are some holes you can see right where that you can see them five i think that's five one two yes okay girl you're moving too fast so we're gonna screw the back of the chair in and you cannot make any mistake as to how this will be placed because there's only one way <laughs> simply to put it like that and the holes are all there my advice is to try and screw the first the last screws that's the one to the extreme left and the one to the extreme right try to put those two screws in first so that you don't have to have any problems uh, screwing the middle ones yep four screws as i said this was a little bit tedious to do but we we still got it done anyways <laughs> this will have you working up a sweat that's for sure so let's start putting those in and you see how many different angles i have this chair that's to tell you how difficult it was to screw in but ta-da it's all done we did it we put it together the lever is situated where it's supposed to and we're just going to put the chair back yes we done did that <laughs> and the chair is moving perfectly fine it's all good that's really all there is to put in the body of the chair together and it looks good i actually sat on it and it feels pretty pretty sturdy no issues at all moves well nothing sticks if you if you do it properly then it should be freely moving just like this so yeah we have those small i don't know what to call them it's like a, i think it's the m10 shim yeah those small things that came no yeah m yeah those are the m10 spring shim you can put them over these armor screw and the armor screws are the ones that are left over so those are the ones we are using to put and the reason you put the the m10 spring shim on is because it helps to keep the armrest dirty if you don't use them it'll be a little bit loose well a lot loose if you want your chair like that you can simply not put the uh the spring shim on before you screw so just put them over the screw and screw That was pretty quick and there you go the armrest they move if you want it looser don't put the spring shim on and those small items they're called the m10 shim they come they're three pieces and they're literally uh, to put over the screws on the armrest just to cover them up uh, they were a little bit difficult so i didn't apply them you don't really need them so I didn't use them but here we have our chair it's all done that's how it comes up and to lower it you just sit and play with the lever thanks for watching like leave a comment